Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode we managed to uh, get the RS, RS, uh, RF submission station. And now we need to get some carbon and some cellulose, which is pretty straightforward. So, let's go and have a look at how we do that. So, we've got lots of oak wood here. So we're, what we need from here is about eight. Eight oak wood in the decomposer will give me 64 um, cellulose. And we just need this little stuff over here, which I probably haven't got anymore. Let's just take... Or do we need eight of these? We'll probably need more than eight, so we've already got some carbon anyway. In fact, I should be able to. Can I decompose this? Now that goes to this mini kill from. De now that actually is wrong. Hold on a second, because that that recipe has been removed. Weird. So look at that again. Now it's thirty tons. Let me have a look at this again. Usage of this. I'm pretty sure that he removed this recipe in shapeless crafting. Oh, he hasn't removed it. So we should get the sixth compression one. But before we had three and he hasn't got rid of it after. Okay, never mind. I'll sort that out later on. I'll let that fly around. <laughs> right, okay. So we know already that if we actually put one piece of oak wood in here, we will get um, eight. So we'll get 54. Oh, there must be a chance in here. Let's get some more wood. And unless, unless saplings can do it, let's have a look at the use of saplings for the decomposer. I thought it was one for one, actually. 25% chance. Uh, and then wood. I think this is better. We have only fifty percent chance. So we need uh, we need at least another. Well, we'll take another eight. Hope it's not enough. So we'll take the. I've got too many anyway. Never mind. We can put one back. So we want eight of these in here. Probably don't need as many as eight. We've got eighty, so slightly more, um, slightly better chance than the sixteen we'll put in here for the carbon. That gives me a stack of carbon and quite a lot more. So let's just check that quest again and detect that. So power will become a big thing for us soon. There's quite some options available but the fuel is special you can often refine it into a cleaner state that will yield in better power it's a bit strange and let, let's start by breaking down coal and wood so you can cellulose i don't know whether cellulose has a better burn time let's have a look at the burn time on cellulose not very good carbon value 1200 compared to this one well carbon value 12, yeah, 1200 compared to a value 200. But the burn time here is only 65 compared to 6000. So carbon's better, but this, of course, gives you six carbon. So we actually get quite a lot more carbon than we did before. So that's pretty good. Now, that was that question. Let's have a look. Did I claim the reward for that? Yes, I have done. Let's go back now. And let's see what we've opened up here. Lindsay has power. Our solar power is quite nice, but anyways, we should improve our power generation and put some new fuels to some use. So we want one sterling generator. Well, we've already done that, but I actually do want, we'll probably need more than one. And here we get 10 X L um, XP, and then we get a choice reward of different items here. Storage buses, import buses, capacity cards, acceleration cards, very difficult. To actually choose which one but I suspect that this is the hardest by a long way um, 64k I mean storage is pretty expensive and we can't make any of those at the moment anyway so what shall we do shall we make another 
no we won't make another we'll go and get the one we've made because it's empty at the moment and we can also collect the stuff that we've got from the mine or from the quarry so we we'll go oh that's pretty full isn't it i said it would be fairly full let's just take moon dirt okay fill up my chest already i can't do all of that i'll put one of these back let's put that one back there and take this now it is being configured i wonder if that's going to cause a problem let's just check it actually while i'm here let's detect submit oh i can claim it oh i get do i get all oh that's not very good they're all floating around let's go <laughs> i get all of those fantastic let's put i don't want to hit that either do i it turns it around let's put the dirt back in again have we got everything we need yes we have everything good smashing that's great actually that's a really good reward we'll take the dirt with us now and go back again so it's pretty important to find a better way of doing this in fact i can put this down again now since i actually got that reward let's put it down again in fact i'm having a little think here what i'm going to do is i'm actually not going to put it down there to start with because we're not short of minerals at the moment but we will be fairly soon but below us we have no power in the um, in the laser turrets downstairs here so what I've got here is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down hopefully there's nothing in here if there is I have to jump up straight away there's a few bits and pieces so if I now put this on here like this I think this is the input let's see let's see if we're getting any power in here nothing yet in there this is a pylon that's good and what about the fuel stuff base turret's got none this is actually working because there are two I think one of these is the output one of the input let's see if we can configure this too send push by oh, that's pull no wonder still no power in there and in the turret hmm maybe what i'll do with this is i'll take it off here collect it and put it on here that should work yep So now we've got rid of these mobs over here, which is fantastic. We can actually go and pick up that stuff. And now what I need to do here is to put in some of those torches. We'll do that. Oh, we've got feather as well. That's interesting. I wonder where that came from. Of course, I've got no space because I didn't empty out the stuff when I came here in the first place. But at least that means now we can start to work down here so let's put here let's make sure it's got enough carbon in there to keep going while we go upstairs and empty ourselves out um right way so let's put the moon dirt into here like this and one thing i can do now is i can do another chest let's do some let's do as many chests as we can make that should be 64 chests no, 36 can't can't count what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put those chests in here and i'm going to take one me import bus we've got 10 of them here like this and get rid of that as well and this of course we don't need that don't need the potatoes and the carrots and I'll put the ME stuff in this chest. I've got it all in here at the moment, haven't I? So let's put the ME stuff into here. We might as well take these. Put those into here. So we have a bit more. Where did that go to? That's strange. There's a shift clicking and it moved into a strange place. I actually want one of these import buses like this. And you'll see why in a second. So what I'm going to do here is on this row here I've got uh, some space so 
So if I put the chest down, say here, like, oh, let's put it on the end, somewhere convenient. I think a convenient place might be here, like that. And then we'll take the ME import that's here and we'll put it on top of this, like that. And then anything in this chest is then going to get pulled into the system. So I can control shift click moon dirt and it'll all go into the system. Or uh, and any of the things we've got multiples of, let's put it all in because we don't need actually I want that out to finish, don't I? And you see it goes in fairly slowly, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. Because we haven't got that much stuff coming in and it's not blocked. So that's bringing everything that we've got now in there into the system here which is great. So what do I want to get rid of? I don't want any of this stuff I've got on me at the moment. Let's go and put it in this chest here. And we need to make some lighting. So I'm going to do that next, I think. Let's give that a sort. So you've got plenty of carbon in here. I could have just taken that carbon, didn't have to mess around. And I've got this. What I want to do is I need to make a basic capacitor bank. Because with a basic capacitor bank you can start to link things together and it might be a bit early but it doesn't really matter in this game so i us put it in this chest over here the acceleration cards that's fantastic so i think what we've got on us now is pretty good and it's coming up to night time so i'll have a sleep soon and also we'll just quickly get the energy uh, rechange the tank as well how about that just in time i was sure 11 left on that one so now let's have a quick look at that so we completed that one and got these fantastic rewards but I don't want to waste my XP if I die I'll lose my XP so what I'm going to do is to build um, some tanks I need four pieces of obsidian in fact while we're here let's make a hopper can I make a hopper yeah it should be no problem one of them so we've got plenty of iron now iron is no shortage unlike galactic science one where it's a big pain here it's very easy in fact you get i think three times as much as the other as the other metals what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply put this on top of it's jumping up a bit high here put it on top of there and they're going to put into that some cobblestone so it'll always be making lava for us and then I'm in the moment so I need to get some I want to make some open block tanks and it's this recipe so we basically need four obsidian and some glass panes and that'll give us two tanks so that'll be fine to start with so let's get uh, four obsidian make some glass panes oh I need some more obsidian for that let's just take another couple of pieces if I can Oops, one click two clicks there and I better make some more cobblestone for that matter so I'm not sure how many this will make one piece of obsidian might make enough panes for us so let's just see Actually, we've got two. So we get 32. Glass panes are like this, I think. So we need five of those. So that leaves us with two, which we'll then go and decompose those two. Oops, I left them in there, didn't I? I need to take them out. Uh, that will give us some cobblestone. I think it's not sure if it's shape crafting actually to be honest with a quick look. I think it's shape crafting. Oops. Try it again. Here we go. That will give me 16 cobblestone for just these two. Oh, that's a chemical synthesizer. Two of those, four of those, 
cobblestone, so you get 16 cobblestone, which will make more than enough, more than one piece of um, obsidian. I think it makes about two. Let's shift that in there and get some more of that. It'll be filling it with low lava very slowly, but effectively. Some potatoes, I'll leave this for the time being. So now we can make for ourselves an open blocks tank. I'm sure we're going to make loads of those actually, hoppers. Well, and we can also make a great, an XP grid. This thing. So we just need that. I think I've got enough of those already. Fantastic. We made some before, made too many. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it down here. Like, actually, I'll put it like this. So what I'm going to do is put these two tanks down like that and put on top of that the XP grid. Tank, I'm not standing on it. And then we can stand on this. Takes our XP. So our XP is now safe. If we die, we've still got this, this XP. And this, is, this reward comes up quite frequently. This is not running because it likes to do this to us. Don't ask me why it's doing that, oh, it's a very irritating. Time we start the game, you've got to go and start that up. Shouldn't need to really. Right, now, where are we in quests? I wanted to make some um upgrade that machine again, didn't I? So let's go and do that. I think at the moment it's empty. Let me go and check this. Oh, it's got 13 to grow but that's all and the rest of it's now it's here so we we've now got this one speed upgrade so let's go and do an upgrade a second one of these now this needs we'll have a look at this it needs hardened glass now in the earlier version it didn't have hardened glass but this now we have got it and it may change over, over time but um, hardened glass is this one so we can make that with a block of lead and a piece of obsidian will give us one piece of hardened glass and the uses of that let's have a look if it tells us on here yeah, machine framed hardened or well, let's look at the uses of this we want to basically upgrade machines here we go so we can upgrade this with a signal and gear and a some hardened glass we need four pieces of obsidian and four blocks of lead so, but of course this is going to be busy for a while i don't know how i'm doing for lead at the moment let's just see that's our molten lead. Let's put that into here. Let's see what mold I've got in here. I've got that one. Well, I actually want lead rather than silver. Of course, it's got its little drop in there. There we go. So we need four blocks of this, and I think each one of these will do one. So let's just remove this. Put that back in again. So it looks like we might get four out of here with a little bit left at the end of that. So that's that bit sorted out. So we'll have lead. So we can put these ingots in here. What else did we need to do for hardened glass? It was lead and obsidian. Right, we need to go get four blocks of obsidian, which we don't yet have enough of. And yes, this is a bit of a awkward at the beginning of the game to keep running around here, but it's kind of... In fact, as it happens... I wanted five. Because I want more cobblestone. We should be able to start to put the first piece of automation into place. 
to make cobble so at least get some of it started it'll be a bit slow to start with but it's not going to be too bad right, we want four four pieces of um four lead blocks in here don't we there's our four and we'll have a little bit left here for some ingots it's funny and does that there is a recipe for that probably get what yep five and then 96 let's just get rid of those so now we should be able to take this along here put these on four of these actually four of those and four of those block of lead block of obsidian now it might be the wrong type of lead so let's go and just double check that recipe again this is thermal foundation so that's the one we have to convert it to so let's come along here and come to the manual one here for example block of lead so this is the thermal foundation so we'll take that one there we'll put this into here as well for the automatic oops didn't want it to do that do I not what I want to do never mind try again like that I should have tested it really as well couldn't I let's just put this one into here like that or even better let's just do it across the bottom and we'll do the same with, with the lead ingot as well while we're here because generally we need thermal foundation like that for most of the machines I've got right automatic cut right this one let's do it like that so now we should be able to take those and make those into put these into here so now we get the recipe for hardened glass so we can select that um, I prefer to wait a bit I think I don't think we need that just yet what I'm going to do next is I'm going to decompose this one piece of obsidian here they give me 16 magnets and we're going to decompose these so that's going to give us 64 has it gone to silicon and oxygen it's going to give us 64 cobblestone have I got that right yet yeah. 128 cobblestone so that's a really good return on your cobblestone so it makes it it makes it very good for doing this sort of stuff but at the moment it's a bit too manual and I don't like that and it's night time but we can let this quite happily trundle away and do its business thinking about it yeah, let's do that because I have two blocks of this in here and we might be able to take one of these out yep yeah, I can which means that we can go downstairs and make some uh, make some um, floodlights and start to automate this that on my hand just in case so what we need is some floodlights now that was if I remember just plain torches like that I'm not sure I've got any things in here so look any sticks in here I've got four torches not enough um, what have we got what coal only so we need some that's not going to be enough either, that's going to give me 4 that's going to give me 16, that's enough for 2 to oh we do the torch, the sticks go to there 16, and then we just put those around the piece of glowstone and we get a floodlight oh that recipe was here that's right torch minecraft glowstone dust what have I just made I 
Oh, Galacticraft torch. How did that happen? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, but that's the recipe for Minecraft torches. Hmm. I wonder. Let's just see if we can take that. We could make a chisel. But this is strange. I've got Galacticraft torches here now. What are the uses for this? Actually, nothing. That's a weeny bit useless. Okay, well that plan's ruined for the time being. Obviously I could do it before, so I can't do it now. I shall have to ask why we lost that recipe. But never mind. Okay, Slim, we'll have to ask you again. So, one gets fixed, one gets broken, the usual thing. Now, what do I want to do? I want to put those away. don't want those. Because the recipe is wrong in any art, showing a different recipe, which is a bit sort of difficult, isn't it? Anyway, now I'm a, bit, I'm a bit lost what to do next. Anyway, we've got our certain sterling generator, we've done that. So now, unlocking the power core, and we've got refining coal. So we've got to make a liquefi liquefacted coal bucket, and that'll give me 12 nanotubes, which is basically th four diamonds. 64 water. Okay, I wonder how we make a liquefacted coal bucket. Let's have a look. Wrong rest of the wrong field. This one. So all we need to do is to put some coal dust in the Magna Crucible and that'll give me there. And it gives me a hundred, so we need ten coal dust to do that. So let's see, we need ten pieces of coal. Oops, eleven. Put that one back. Come along to the uh, to the pulverizer. Put the coal into there. And I get you get one for one. Occasionally you get a sulfur, which is great because it's I think it's about the only way you can get sulfur. Maybe there's a different way. Um, we probably might be able to get us a drop actually. Let's have a look at the recipe of uses for them. So we can pulverize sulfur in, that's brilliant. Or we can get it this way. Blaze rods we can pulverize, and that'll give us four. But it's better to get six the other way with a 50% chance. Or we can do the, uh, the Venus Sulfur or Yep, there we go shooting. We can do some of that and we get that. Lapis. We're not going to get these, I don't think. Lapis Lazuli or and Nether Quartz. So I don't think we can get those. Induction Smelter. In fact, that's actually a pretty good way of getting the Soul Sand. Well, maybe not. And Sagma. No, and Silicon from there. But that's fairly obvious. Okay. Right, where are we up to? Have we got this ten of those? Yes we have, good. So we now need to put these in something in the crucible hang like this. And they won't go in. Are they the wrong type of coal? Yes, you've got an ore converter in here. So we need, which one do we need for liquefied? We need thermal foundation or NRIO, tech reborn or industrial craft. Well, ain't working. Let's go and change it, convert it to something else. We can try the different ones. Let's do it like this. Okay. So we'll take one of industrial craft, one ender IO, one tech reborn. Oh, I wonder if it's that I've just got an idea actually. Maybe we need to do it a higher tier of 
Magna Crucible. Let's just see if it works. No, it isn't. It just needed to be the first one. Ender IO. Tech Reborn. So the only one that doesn't work is Thermal Foundation. Fantastic. Okay, well let's go and uh, stick them into Ender IO then in that case. I think it's an Ender IO machine. Wow. This one. Let's put this into the ore converter here. Let's do this end for a change. Shift those in there, and you see those not get converted to that one. Which we can now put in here, they all get taken in, and in fact, that should be pulled into here. Let me just check the configuration. Input. Ah, wrong side. Here we go. So we now have a thousand, so we just need a bucket and we can get a bucket of liquefacted coal in here. So if we put that into fluid transposer, perfect, that's perfectly empty, we just got one bucket of that. So we should have completed that quest, detect, and we can claim our 64 water, and done. So the last quest in this quest line, by the looks of it, is to submit 5.4 billion RF into that. Now the way I'm going to do that, there's two ways, obviously, we can use solar power, which is what I intend to do. and. Let's have a look. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for for the time being, especially since that's a thermal foundation and it didn't work with thermal foundation. Hmm. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to make some slabs. I'm going to make 24 slabs like that. Hmm. I'm just having a big think there actually because I've run out of time for today for this episode. So I'm going to say goodbye. We've made a few steps forward and a few back, but uh, I think generally speaking, we're doing all right. So until next time, bye for now.